In this video, you will learn how to use the Identity REST API command to create an API service account, create teams, assign user roles and teams to API service accounts, and update an API service account. Veracode REST APIs enable you to access Veracode platform data and functionality using REST API programming conventions. The API provides endpoints for managing users, teams, and business units using the create, update, read, and delete actions on their respective objects. It also provides a consistent way of onboarding teams by scripting the process from start to finish. This capability includes managing API service accounts. An API service account is for non-human users, such as systems or services that need to access the Veracode APIs. Veracode recommends that you use this account for automations. API service accounts are different than user accounts, which can access the Veracode platform and the Veracode APIs. Note. To access the REST APIs, you must use Veracode API credentials and HMAC authentication to protect your Veracode account and keep your data secure. The Veracode REST APIs follow the Open API industry standard specification. The APIs accept JSON for requested payload and also send responses to JSON instead of XML. This demo uses the Insomnia REST client to call the Veracode APIs. You can download the API specification from the Veracode Help Center. To create an API service account, use this POST command in JSON format and populate the necessary information, making sure to include team and role information. In this example, the value API user for permission name and the assigned roles distinguish this account as an API service account instead of a human user account. You can find the table of role names in the Veracode Help Center. Veracode uses Teams to restrict user access to applications. If you want an API service account to have access to all applications, Regardless of what team the user is a member, use this role name. You can add these users to teams at any time. API service accounts also require role information to define what actions the service account can take on an application and the types of scans to which the service account has access. For example, to allow an account to perform an upload and scan, apply the Upload API role with any additional roles to define the types of scans to which that user has access. The Role Results API allows the service account to access scan results. Refer to the Veracode Help Center for full definitions and syntax of roles. Run this command to generate a list of users. This command applies to both user accounts and API service accounts. You can also use commands to search for a specific user by username, ID, or email address. As mentioned previously, Veracode uses Teams to grant users access to applications. Administrators can assign users to Teams to access applications. Run this POST command to create a team. Run this PUT command to add users to a team. Run this GET command to view a list of all teams in your organization. You can also use the PUT commands to update existing accounts. For example, Run this put command to restrict an existing user account by IP address and what the range is. If you want to add a user to an existing team, run this put command. As a reminder, all API specifications are available in the Veracode Help Center. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, navigate to help veracode.com and search for REST APIs. 
From here, you can also find common identity API use case scenarios.